The Intel Thunderbolt project started a few months ago when my buddy Scott came up to me um, and showed me this microchip. And he, um, he kind of like just was enabling me to, to see what I could do. He, he, he gave me the chip and, and just gave me a few days, a few weeks eventually to, to come up with something. And it was a bunch of things. You know how uh, experiments go. You, you, you come up with one idea, you come up with another, it doesn't work, you keep, you keep doing it. It's kind of like the story of this chip. It's the story of Thomas Edison. He failed more than he succeeded. We didn't really know of it until maybe two or three weeks ago when we finally unlocked this chip on what can, it can really do. Because it was never meant for music yet. It's gonna be since we're gonna develop it um, for that. Um, but that's how it started. It's just a bunch of experiments and ideas that never work. And just you gotta keep believing and pushing that something good will come from that. Okay, so we have three stations. We have a turntable that decodes time code vinyl in real time on the Intel Edison chip. We have a drum machine that's playing samples from DJ Kubert's beats. We slice them up into different drum pads and it's running at half a millisecond latency on the Edison. And then we have a synthesizer that's using a Native Instruments Control S25 and that has a synthesizer built into it. Um, you know, running on the Edison on a processor this big. This is pretty awesome, man. It makes music very uh, easily accessible. It makes it very customizable. Uh, even for someone who has no idea what they're doing, for me. And I was able to pull something real simple together real quick. Um, just with some awesome, super user-friendly technology. Coming from like a from an analog background to see this integration now to where it's it's coming close to where we don't have to depend on a laptop or an extra unit. Um, you know, it's, it's it's a landmark in our history. So um, I like it. I like where, where DJing is going right now. You know what I think is uh, really cool about it is one, that there's a unit that's small and portable that can hold that much information and data. Um, I think that just having like, and that's what our laptops essentially are, and if we can minimize that and minimize all the connections that we have to, you know, put into place to connect our, our sound, um, I think that that's very valuable as a, as, a, as a DJ. What I think is most important is you can finally visualize the data of scratching. That is huge. I didn't say that at MakerCon or at Maker Faire, but when you can finally actualize the like let's say a scratch deck, say D styles is going to execute and you can finally see exactly how that image works. It's like writing a note down. Now these days, you know, you see, you see Qbert writing as many notes as he can down to show whatever combo or pattern he's doing. But now you're, you know, it's like giving Mozart, a, uh, uh, instead of like his feather pen writing on ink one note at a time, like we're doing now, it's like you're giving Mozart his own computer. You know, I've been, I've been scratching on it for a while now. I've been waiting. I mean, I'm still new to it, but I'm waiting for, for it to glitch out. But like Hardridge was saying, it's um, it's optimized. Like, you don't have to go through all these programs. It's like right straight straight into the computer. So it's faster than, than all the other stuff. I don't even think we know what all the benefits are yet. I think that's yet to expose itself. But the fact that they're they're going this route, we're going we're gonna to be able to see very, very soon, I think, as we start learning more about what this Intel chip do, um, you know, for DJ, because my understanding is that its application can be many different things. Laptop, it's gonna take some adjustment. I totally know that. And right now is that is that curve where it's just like when DVSs came out, when not everyone accepted yet because not everyone knew how solid and um, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna do everything properly, especially live and without any glitches. So this whole year is gonna be a lot of experimentation, but we know through Edison, it's gonna lead us there. It's, this is just the enabler. This is just like that first step. It's not like, you know, this is fine. Just put this chip in and you go. It's kind of like the direction we're going. We're just going to take it, your hands off that laptop and bring it back to the console. And let's see how everyone does focusing on that all over again.